everybody, thanks for joining me. It's Miriam Florio, and today we're gonna to be talking about leads. So one of the questions that I always get about CRM solutions is whether or not you should use leads in your system. And so there are five essential things to know about leads before you get started using CRM. So let's start. Number one, what is a lead? So great question, it seems like an obvious thing, right? It's a lead, a prospect, somebody that you hopefully want to sell to one day. But my definition of leads is a little bit different. So I like to think of a lead as a cold lead or not an actual customer yet, and really even further from that, somebody that you've never made contact with would be, would be a lead. And so an application for this is, let's say you purchase lead lists or you go to a trade show, you have a list of unqualified, possibly dirty information that you wanna bring into your system. That's what I would consider a lead. So anything warmer than that, I would think, um, is no longer a lead and you'd actually put into your CRM as an account with let's say a type of prospect or some people call them suspects, but I think that's a weird word. So that's the first thing to understand is what a lead really is. So think about that before you start using CRM and understand and decide whether or not you actually need to use the leads entity at all. So if you have a lot of these lists or dirty information or large quantities of leads, then using leads is probably a good idea for you. If not, then you might just wanna use the account entity. Number two is understanding what an opportunity is. So when we talk about leads and opportunities, there are all these buzzwords out there in the world about CRM, but you know a lot of people don't know what they are and an opportunity is one of those. So an opportunity is not an actual person, so let's remember that. An opportunity is a potential sale that's linked to, let's say, a lead or an account in your system. So it's the potential sale that you're associating with that contact or that person. It's not actually a lead itself. So hopefully we'd like to take a lead to become an account with lots of opportunities in the future associated with them. Number three, when in doubt, don't use leads at all. If you're not sure if you need leads, then I would recommend not using the leads entity. There are several reasons for this. Number one reason, it just makes things messy and disjoined and maybe adds a little more complexity to a system where you don't necessarily need that level of complexity. So we have a swimming pool with all these leads inside and we wanna move them to the big pool where we actually have our customers. And so moving them from one place to another just complicates things and adds an extra step in there for your sales team. So if you don't actually have these large lists of leads that somebody is gonna be dialing through every day, and hopefully turning those leads into customers, then you really probably don't need to use the leads entity. So that's what I just usually recommend not using the leads at all if you aren't sure, and you can always use them in the future. Um, the negative to using leads, let's say by accident, is that it can cause um, more complexity or um, work in areas where you necessarily don't need to do that amount of work. The number four thing to remember about leads is they take a while to process. So you have your sales team, you probably have an inside sales team, you have an outside sales team, and those sales teams are usually busy and they wanna sell, right? What they don't wanna do is sit around in a CRM system and have to click through, move things from one step to another in order to get to the end goal, which is actually closing that opportunity up inside the system. So you just wanna remember that if there really isn't a necessity for leads, like we said in number three, then don't use them. And if you do, just remember that your sales team's gonna to have to go through a couple more steps in order to convert that lead to an account. So just keep that in mind as well. Not saying they're not good, there's definitely benefits to using leads, um, but if you don't want that extra time to be spent or you don't want your sales team complaining about it, then maybe it is a good idea just to use the accounts. The number five thing to remember is just have a little foresight, think it through before you start using leads. And the reason being is that leads can actually um, end up being multiple reports in your system. And so instead of having a one report about accounts in your CRM system, you might end up having to have two different kinds of reports because, because you have two main entities involved, accounts and leads. And so those would then separate things. Remember that when you're looking to slice and dice the data or you wanna set up your dashboards, et cetera, you'll have these different entities inside of CRM if you're using leads at all. And so if you have a little bit of foresight and you think it through and you do decide that you wanna go with the leads, then just know that you might have a little more legwork um, involved with creating the, the reports and the dashboards in the future. Join me next time where we talk about more topics on dynamic CRM.